How we doing today? Nice to see you. Today, I'm here to talk about my recent trip to Beyond Van Gogh, the immersive experience in Hartford, Connecticut. But I assume it's pretty much the same wherever you go. Uh, I didn't know what to expect going to it, and um, I did some checks on some reviews, and it was mixed. Some people didn't get what they thought they were going to get when they went to the, uh, the show. But um, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, I bought the $39 tickets. Uh, they are just regular old timed entry. You go in at a certain time and you can leave at a certain time. They do tell you that you can stay as long as you want to watch the immersive experience play out around you. As you can see, I have it playing in the background and I don't want to show too much because I you know, don't want to spoil it for you. But uh, it's actually quite amazing. Uh, it's all done with projectors and screens. The floor is projected on the walls, the pillars, pretty much everything when you get into the immersive part of it is projected on. The first area you walk into is basically just a bunch of panels with like PowerPoint to read. And they're, they're pretty. I mean, they're, they're, they're paintings and the writing is on them. And you read, and it gives you some background on uh, Van Gogh's life and uh, some of the things he went through, the times where he moved through his life. And it'll actually give you good context when you go out into the immersive area. And the way they play that, it follows his life's pattern through his painting career in his different stages. Uh, it's, it's, it's very cool. Uh, if you enjoy artwork or multimedia experiences or technology, I, th I think you'll enjoy this. It's uh, the video doesn't do it any justice. Number one, it's pretty grainy. Uh, I took it on my iPhone, and uh, but when you're standing in the middle of it, it, you feel like you're inside of a painting. It's very cool. I enjoyed it, and it takes about an hour to go through. It could take you well. It took us about an hour and fifteen minutes, hour and twenty minutes, because we we stayed in the immersive area through one and a half reels of the show yeah i'd say you can buy different levels like the vip level where you can go in anytime you want or you get some extra stuff you can check it out online i'll leave the link in the description below but um yeah we just got the regular experience and it was it was wonderful uh, i would definitely recommend it for anybody who enjoys art and enjoys just bright beauty and if you know van gogh's work it was very bright it was very colorful it was very beautiful. My first time I was able to look at Van Gogh's work up close was in London. We went to the National Gallery and they have several different works of Van Gogh. And just when you get up close to them, it, it's amazing. They're all just paint dots and paint lines and paint swirls and chunky too. And when you're close to it, it doesn't look like anything. It just looks like a bunch of colors mixed together. But as soon as you step back, the painting emerges like sunflowers and the the crabs um two two beautiful paintings uh so just jumping on real quick to give you just a quick review give you a little video so you can see what you're looking at and trust me what you're seeing in my video does not do this thing justice it is a very cool experience and um yeah i recommend it uh, if you want to go check it out, I've left a link below. I'm sure you can see where it'll be playing next, if it's playing in an area near you. Uh, if it already has been there and you didn't make it, sorry. There's lots of videos online, you can see it. It's, I'll tell you though, the videos <laughs> just don't do it justice. Standing in the middle of it does it justice. It's uh, it's very cool watching the paints come across the floor, um, off the walls, and it's just amazing. Anyway. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video, and uh, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time. 